Hi everyone, it's me. It is four minutes till four. I am all done with the route. It took me three hours and 55 minutes to do the route. And I had one customer on 26 just before Gulls Woods. The guy, he's a nice guy. I've always seen him outside working on his car. He's always waved to me. I was, since I turned around in his driveway, he flagged me down after I delivered his paper. First, I didn't see it because the sun was shining directly in my eyes. Flagged me down and he gave me my rubber bands back and a Halloween baggie. And along with my rubber bands, he gave me $20. That $20 will come in handy, especially when I'm going to have to put gas in this. So every little bit helps. And I had a customer last week give me $25. So that helped out. This $20 that this customer gave me today, that'll help out. And he's a nice guy. I've always I've said hi to him. I've waved to him. And I told him to have a good day and told him thank you. And he told me that he appreciates my service that I give with his newspaper. And he this was his way of saying thank you. So it was actually kind of nice. Yeah, my boss told me that you're going to get tips from customers. But it would be better if they paid it into the office and then it'd be credited to the check if it's like money but yeah you get it on your check but the funny thing is is it takes a couple weeks for it to show up so the customers know that because they were told that to begin with but the customers see it as well why do it that way we just give it to the driver because, yeah, you get it in the end, but you have to wait a couple weeks. Because I've had customers that give me tips on my check. But it would show up on my check because they have to pay it into the, the office when they do pay it. But the one custom, the customers that I have that have given me money tips, you know, any type of money, they've told me that they don't want to pay it in the office and me wait a couple weeks to get it. They'd rather see me use it now, which helps me out because any little bit that I get helps out, especially with gas being almost $3 a gallon. At least in Stryker, it's almost at $2.50. That gas station in Ridgeville, it's like $2.30. So, but yeah, I'm going to stop it right here. Please like, please subscribe now. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.